Wow. Really, Blizzard? Virtual realms? Just when I think you couldn't be any stupider or more harebrained or moronic, you go and totally redeem yourselves! Dumb and dumber. Snippet time, snippet time, cross the USA. How do you gang? Bad player 03 here with another Bad Players WoW vlog snippet. Today, Blizzard released the early patch notes for patch 5.4, which will soon be hitting the PTR. The Siege of Ogremar will soon be upon us. Anyways, one of the more surprising announcements is the introduction of Virtual Realms. This feature will be completely game-changing for low-population realms. Essentially, it allows multiple realms, presumably low-population, to be merged into one large realm called a Virtual Realm, denoted by a number sign which will appear next to the characters' names. This will make all players in the Virtual Realm behave essentially as if they were in the same actual realm, sharing the auction house, the ability to do all levels of PvP and PvE content together, and the ability to make friends and group up with these players to clear content. Knowing these players will always be with them to share this new larger virtual realm. Despite all of this, and this is the coolest part of it all, the player retains the identity of being part of the original realm they rolled on. They in no way lose the feeling of being part of the realm they know and love. They can keep the original realm friendships and acquaintances while at the same time meeting many new players who will permanently share the same realm with them and, and enjoy the full benefits of being part of a higher population realm. Why am I excited about this? It's not because I'm on a relatively low population server, although, you know, I sort of am. Because it's because I'm an advocate for making WoW feel more like a social MMORPG that it's meant to be. And like a number of other players, I felt the Cross Realm Zones, or CRC, was good for this reason, although I recognize that a number of problems and limitations. However, not long ago, I joined a big debate on one of the forums about how CRZ was killing WoW. The biggest arguments against it were that it took away from the benefits of a low population server, such as virtually free access to an abundance of resources with virtually no competition, without giving the benefit of a high population server, such as a more stable economy, lots of players to befriend and group up with, from time to time again to do all types of WoW content. The biggest restriction, of course, were high level PvP, such as rated battlegrounds, and current tier high level PvE rating, neither of which are currently available across realms. Well, doesn't Virtual Realms pretty much fix all these issues in one swoop? Now you can see the same players all the time, as if you were truly in the same realm, share an economy, and all types of WoW content, and you don't even have to lose the identity of the actual realm you are truly on. Sounds like a true win-win to me. Blizzard is also really brilliant to do this. They know that more than ever, low population and perhaps dying realms are becoming a real burden to the WoW experience, and the game is suffering for it. They know the talks of realm closures and murders have traditionally been poisoned to an MMO as people start to totally blow this type of news out of proportion and use it to fuel the fire of rumors of how the game is declining or even dying, even though such moves are usually positive for the betterment of the game for the most part. Well now they are merging servers, but they're not actually merging servers. They're virtually merging servers. What's more, when the actual server merges happen, all players involved may feel like they're having their server ripped away from them. For example, let's say Realm A and Realm B are merged to form Realm C. Players from both Realm A and B have to accept the fact that they are now a member of Realm C and are no longer part of A or B, as those realms no longer exist. Well, now all the players involved get to feel like they're still members of the original realms, yet they still get to benefit from the experience of being part of a greater realm. Now, where can we see examples of this concept? Well, I want to draw on two examples, one from the real world and one from pop culture. First off, consider the concept of the United Nations. Can you imagine what would happen if they tried to merge multiple countries into one single country? In the face of nationalism, this would be an absolute disaster, as it would elicit massive public outcry. However, by allowing the nations to retain their national identity, yet form a stronger union where all the nations benefit from being part of the larger, stronger group, the union becomes quite acceptable. In pop culture, particularly Star Trek, another example is the United Federation of Planets. In the Federation, every single member planet retains their planetary and racial identity, yet they unify to become part of a much stronger whole. I think in light of the fact that advances in MMO technology is getting to the point that soon the concept of server will not be part of, uh, of an MMO, this is an important advance in WoW technology necessary to ensure that it can continue to compete as a top MMORPG in the face of these new MMOs that will likely come in the future. This is, of course, speculation on my part, but I truly believe this is the future of the MMO genre. On a quick final note, of particular interest to bad WoW players like myself, Blizzard announced that Proving Grounds will finally be introduced in Patch 5.4 as well. This will give players of a number of skill levels a system to develop better skills pertaining to their particular role, DPS, Healer, or Tank. 
This is supposed to be in the form of training exercises and our tests to build and develop these particular skills. Unfortunately, so far, this seems like the only new announced feature that is aimed at casual players at this time. Nothing was mentioned about a feature that might be on the lines of the ability to see old content, as Ghost Caller Greg Street alluded to some time ago. There's still lots of room for additions to changes to the PTR as it progresses, uh, so don't give up on this idea yet. But we have to be prepared as well for the possibility that this, any such feature may not be ready to be part of patch 5.4. Anyways, with that, I'm going to wrap it up. Once again, I'm Bad Player 3 and you've been watching another Bad Player's WoW vlog snippet. As always, you can view this and all my vlogs and videos on my YouTube channel under Bad Player 3 Daniel Gagne. And I hope you'll take the time to subscribe so you'll be the first to know when I release new video content. When I get streaming again, you can view my classic gaming streams on my Bad Player 3 Twitch TV channel. Follow my channel or follow me on Twitter at BadPlayer03 Daniel Gagne to be notified when I start streaming. Finally, you can send me an email at BadPlayer03 at gmail.com. As always, I welcome, encourage, and look forward to getting feedback from you guys in the community. Thanks for watching. Bye now.